What's up guys? We are back with another video. We are currently in Emporia, Kansas for our next tour stop. And for many, many weeks and months, people have been asking for a final van tour. As many of you know, we bought our van at the end of January with only a couple weeks to spare before tour. And we built it out and insulated it and basically made the best living space for us in a two week span in negative 50 degree weather in Minnesota. So we have been making slight revisions as we go on and knowing things that we want to change. And now we're probably a quarter of the way through the season and I feel like we have it a decent setup and exactly where we want it for now. And I just figured it'd be a good time to show you guys what we're working with and what our home looks like. From the front and make our way to the back. So this is where we spend most of our time driving across the country. We have my seat, I usually drive, and Alyssa has her passenger seat. We have snacks for the road up here above my head, and then Aspen's treats and snacks up there. We have some pretty nice dashboard space. We like to keep movies and stuff up there. And uh, this is our cooler right here. This is where we keep most of our cold drinks and uh, extra food and stuff like that. Obviously things that need to be refrigerated. But this is something that Alyssa worked on a couple weeks ago is our reflectors. She put up this string with this Velcro up to the top. So we just kind of roll them up when we're not using them and they get suspended up there in that space that we're not using. So that's pretty nice. Um, this is our most talked about um, item in our van and it is our snack tower. Um, I came up with this idea right in the beginning. It was one of the first things that we bought for the van. Casey's not really much of a snacker, um, but he's working on it. Okay, so right here we have like all of the things that we need right on hand. We've got a lot of different like shower things and Aspen's um, like medication and stuff like that. Um, we have like extra electronic things. This drawer, we started a trend that we're going to buy a keychain at every single place new state that we that we play a disc golf course in so here's a few of the ones that we have so far um, and then this is just basically like our paper towel our kleenexes and like our electronics um that just kind of need to be where we can reach them we also have our cooktop here along with a toaster and then all the perishable foods we keep right here on the counter. These two right here, which pretty much is all of our clothes. Um, and then over here, we've got basically every kitchen thing that we need um, in this these two bins here. Um, and then the bottom one is all of our games. Aspen obviously sleeps under the bed. Aspen, Aspen. just... Hello, Aspen. <laughs> Are you a good girl? Tubby, Good girl. Talk. You want to show us your bed? You want to show us your bed? Where's your bed? Where's your bed? Let's see what your bed looks like. Can you show us your bed? Aspen said, yep, this is where I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Aspen. Moving forward towards the back, we have our trash can that we keep right here in this little doorstep. It's a nice little step trash can that, I don't know, we bought at Walmart. And then this is our instant pot right here. We haven't got to use that too much, but anytime that we want to cook something hot, uh, we use our nice handy dandy generator here. This is a nice solar power generator. We got it for a pretty decent price. We just plug it in at our host house every once in a while. It goes, usually will hold a charge for about a week or two with the things we use like charging our phones and stuff. But uh, this is also, it came with solar panels. To the side here behind the do Aspen's dog food, we have a toolbox and vacuum and other things that we just have extra storage for right there. And then over here we have another one of these shelving units right behind our nice volleyball here. <laughs> this is a nice little shelf we use for our extra shoes that we like to keep up front. As in my extra shoes. <laughs> yeah, Alyssa's extra shoes and mine's down my feet. Onto our bed space. So we just bought a new mattress which kind of limits the head space here. Um, but basically alongside this side of the bed are just a bunch of totes. This side we have all of our hats. Um, which is a really cool idea. Shout out to my cousin Alicia. Um, you just buy these little rings that have little hooks and we just hang all of our hats on that, which is pretty cool. Um, and now onto the back. Okay, so here are the back doors. Over here from the left, this is our bin of merch that we have for sale. We have t-shirts and hats available. Uh, this is some extra discs that we have for sale or that's where I like to keep all our distance drivers or all of our P2s. This is obviously my R3, my ridge roller. 
has a nice setup with the new ridge fridge on it. This is our nice shoe rack that we built. It's kind of a good spot to keep our shoes for after a disc golf round. I take mine off and put them here. This is where we keep Alyssa's paints <laughs> and her chacos. <laughs> and moving this way, we have all of our polos that we have just recently hung up on another nice little hanger there. These are all of our tournament shirts, essentially, that we want to stay hung. As you can see here, I have all of my Grip 6 belts hung right here along with Alyssa's grip bag right here. And back here, we have some extra storage. These are basically where we keep all of our extra discs. We have a couple of these practice bags and a couple of trotter boxes, along with my grip bag for courses that I can't take my cart on. And we also have our heat press and our Cricut, which as you guys might not know, we are actually printing our all of our own merch. Mm -hmm. Make it work and we fit all the stuff in here with the space that we have and if anybody is interested in buying some of our merchandise that Alyssa has printed for us, we have hats and athletic shirts on CaseyWhiteDG.com. But if anybody is interested in some cotton shirts stamped with our logo, just send us a DM on Instagram or Facebook or anything like that. So basically that is our van um, from front to back. Uh, we've been putting a lot of work into it the last couple months and it's getting to the point where it's pretty much how we're gonna have it until we eventually buy a new van. We still have a lot of little things that still need to be fixed um, before the van is 100% um, how we want it. And we will be doing that when we get back home in July. For anyone wondering what is the pros and cons of living in a van versus something like an RV or just something that isn't really a living space being on tour, the best part about having a van is the flexibility. We can be driving a long distance through the night and all we have to do is make it a certain way and then find a truck stop and we can take a nap and then keep going in the morning where when we were traveling in Alyssa's Jeep, we had to like wait until we got to an Airbnb and have a destination that we had to make it to where the van, we can just be wherever we are and just be comfortable for the night as, as long as we have a place to park. And the other thing is a lot of people on tour have their big rig RV and that's nice to have like a shower and a bigger living space, but at the same time, you can't park an RV at the disc golf course. So that's one thing that I know I like for sure as far as having a van versus something larger. One of the cons um, that we are running into is like, if I want to go to the gym, Casey has to go with me just mm -hmm. because we are not currently towing another vehicle um, with us. So that has been one of the cons of living in the van, um, which is, I mean, obviously easily avoidable if you were to tow a different, another car with it. The other thing that I have definitely noticed, I know that most people in their vans with maybe a higher higher budget have like a fridge style cooler in theirs, which runs off of electric and never really uh, gets shut off where the only thing we have is a cooler and we refill it with ice. So that's just something that is another thing we have to keep up with. Like this off season, we're going to be putting a lot more work into it and hopefully getting a system that runs completely off of solar. Um, so that will be convenient and we'll be able to maybe get a fridge and work on something like that. Another thing that we are running into is obviously Aspen's kennel is humongous. Yeah. Um, and so we're just working on training her into being in the van by herself um, and not completely tearing up everything, having it so that we can take that kennel completely out and have more room for our, some of our stuff. Other than that, it's been pretty smooth and we're really enjoying it. Yeah, we are on the road every week at a different tour stop, just living the dream as far as I'm concerned, event after event, whole lot of disc golf. And if there's a whole lot of disc golf involved, life is good. So we are glad to bring you guys another video back on the YouTube channel. I know it's been a while, so thank you guys for sticking it out. And we hope to make more videos in the future. Definitely be on the lookout for an in the bag coming very soon. I know a lot of people have been asking about that. So thank you for watching and we appreciate you guys and like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.